Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back. I am super stoked right now because today we're going to tackle the login gym challenge. And the information we got for that is login with gym's user account and it is falling under the injection category. So what I want to do for starters is I want to use a SQL injection vulnerability that we have used before. I am not going into details of that for this video. Instead of that, I will link a video that I've produced in the past. This is from a previous vulnerability where you see the SQL injection vulnerability in action, how we got to it, and in that video you can learn everything about this vulnerability and what you need to know. In this video, on the other hand, I'm just going to use it and we'll extract some information out of the database by using it. So I've prepared this vulnerability, the one I'm referring to, which is sitting in the product search. And as you can see, I'm already having my union select statement ready. And if I send this to the server, I do get a lot of information back and in my case right now I want to get the user ID the user email and the user password out of the users database and if we look at the response over here we do see a lot of users which are registered in G shop but we want to log in Jim today and Jim is actually already here you can see Jim is stored with ID 2 and his email address is jim at juice-sh.op and his password is this long string over here. So you might be wondering right now, why is everybody having a similar password and why do they in general look quite similar? The answer to that is that for good reasons, for security reasons, you do not store passwords in a database, you rather store a hash, like an MD5 hash, a SHA-1 hash, or something different. And what, what we got over here of Jim is actually his hash. So now your question might be, how do I use that hash? And that is a pretty interesting question. And I want to answer that today. So you, when logging into the application, putting down the actual password of the user, or if you are Jim, you obviously know your password and you put down your password. Let's say your password is ASDF1234. The application is building a hash of that password and then compares it to the user table in the database to see if the hashes match. If the hashes match, you have proven that you are Jim or at least that you know his password and you are locked in. So what can you do if you find a hash to crack this hash, to do this really fast? The answer to that is using rainbow tables. What rainbow tables are it's basically a pre-computed collection of hashes to a big number of potential, in that case, passwords. It doesn't have to be a password necessarily. It can be whatever string you have in mind. What you can do in that case right now is you can use rainbow tables. And if you are, for example, running Kali Linux, you can make use of rainbow crack. And I want to show you how this would look like. So the Rainbow Crack tool is coming with Kali Linux. I'm not going into how to install it. It should be installed. If not, you can check it out with Google. What it does is it comes with a rainbow table generator, which is called RTGen. And you can, for example, say, I want to create a rainbow table which computes MD5 hashes with only lower alpha numeric characters and I want to get all combinations or permutations for a 
character set from one minimum one to seven characters and if I show you that in my Kali Linux over here I can actually say RT Chen you get similar instructions over here and I will show you how long this would take RT Chen let's say we want to get MD5 hashes we want to get those for lower alpha characters one two in my case I'm actually going to say eight because my assumption is that chimps password has up to eight characters and I'm going to say um, bench for benchmark so what this is doing is it tells me how many calculations my computer can perform and I'll do that two times just to get an idea if those numbers are steady or not and I do see that I get well, roughly four million passwords or strings hashed per second so let me give you an idea how long I would need right now to create my rainbow table so let's go to this link over here and say we want to actually do that not just for lowercase characters we want to do that for lowercase uppercase all numbers and a couple of special characters so the number of objects that we have is lowercase characters that's 26 times 2 for uppercase that makes it 52 then we add all the numbers that's 10 numbers that makes it 62 and then we add a couple of special characters so let's say we have roughly 70 objects that we want to calculate the potential permutations and we say that our password can be up to eight characters so let's calculate that and what we get down below here is a really big number so those are all permutations all potential password Jim could have been using and if we go back let's get an idea how long this would take us to um, create a, a rainbow table for so if we say we have let's see we have this amount of potential passwords and we have four million passwords per second so that's four bum 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 is that correct four million I guess I left one zero so that is that number is what we would take in seconds right now so let me copy that and say okay so that is what we take in seconds so we go over here paste that and say divided by 64 minutes another 64 hours and let's say uh, divided by 24 for days so that right now here it says with my computer which obviously has not a lot of computing power compared to supercomputers it would take this command roughly 1600 days to create a rainbow table so you might be thinking right now how is that feasible to use in your case because I don't have 1600 days to wait right now the answer to that is there are pre-calculated rainbow tables that you can download where you do not have to perform the rainbow table generation by yourself like this one over here and if we look closely having or using a char set of ASCII 3295 I'll just show you quickly what that is so that basically includes all those characters that we can see over here that's actually 95 we were calculating with using 70 however you get the idea and you say our length is between 1 and 8 characters that gives us a key space of this massive number over here I cannot even pronounce and that rainbow table size is 576 gigabytes and you might understand that I didn't want to download a terabyte of data 
for producing this video. And I've actually gone ahead and found something for you which works exactly the same way using rainbow tables but just way more convenient to use for you. So I only wanted to talk about rainbow tables to give you a little bit of background information and an, and an idea what's actually going on in the background. But obviously those calculations, permutations have been done before in the past and there is a lot of services online that you can use for doing exactly that. One of them being Crack Station. And what Crack Station does is it says fill in a hash and I'm actually going to look up if that hash is one of those. So it's not just MD5, it's, it's LM and TLM, SHA1, uh, SHA512 and a lot of others. So that tool has rainbow tables in the background for a lot of well-known hashes and you can just quickly look up a hash if you find one. So let's do that. And we know from before that we have found a hash in here. We actually don't know which hash functionality was used to compute that hash, but we will find it out. So we will just say copy that I'll go over here, fire that into CrackStation, tell CrackStation that I'm not a robot, and I'll crack the hash. So let's see what we get. And here we go. It actually tells me right over here that the hash I put in is an exact match. It's an MD5, and the result is NCC minus 1701. So this right now gotta be our password, the one we're looking for. And we can verify that going back to Juice Shop. So I will go ahead and go to login. I will put this down in my password section. I will just quickly go back over here and copy Jim's email address just for the sake of not remembering it copy and paste this right in here. So if this works right now, we have successfully cracked Jim's password. So let's get a shot, log in. And here we go. We see that we've successfully solved the challenge, which is logging in Jim and going to the account. We see that we are logged in as Jim. All right. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something about rainbow tables, how to compute them and how to use them. I did not go into full details regarding rainbow crack because that would have taken too long, but you can check it out anyway by yourself. And with that, subscribe in the top right corner. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.